Hey everyone, this is Adam from Markbots again. Uh, we have a new cPanel layout, so I'm going to show you the new setup and just go from there. So for username, uh, whatever you want it to be, in this case I'm going to do Adam Videos. Now I'm going to go through this whole thing with you guys just so you see how easy it is. Referral is optional, you don't have to put anything there. Make sure to agree to Artbot and Zat's terms of service. So now this tells you you've registered successfully and you just log in up here. Alright, so on your first login it says time on account, three days, zero hours. You don't want to add that yet. First thing you do is you want to go to general bot settings. Next thing, once you're there, you click edit bot. Uh, you can customize your own command symbol if you want. I'm not really into that, so we're just going to go off that snitch. Um, that tells you if anybody sends a private chat to the bot. Um, questions and responses, we'll get into that in a different video. Um, auto chat, kick null, null is users without an ID, they're not bots. A lot of people get that confused. Um, strict band filter, or strict bad word filter rather. Um, I like to keep this on. I have updated it so it's not as strict. Uh, caps, I don't really care about. Alright, so SP filter band length has to be a minimum of one, it cannot be zero. Ten hours is about a good thing. Um, SB filters, the bad words, like if someone curses or whatever. Um, tickle message, bot name, this is just the sample. Um, I'm not going to change, well, I'll put it Adam's videos. So, avatar, the default one is the Artbot logo. Welcome message. I'm going to put that in the connect message. Yes, I'm lazy. I copy and paste. Pretty sure half of you do too. So once all that is set up, click update. Um, real quick. Uh, it says that this has been initialized. It won't start because I haven't assigned the bot power yet. So when you scroll down here, um, just make sure again, SP filter length is 10, bot mod level trigger bad word. So this will just ban like whoever you have as a mod on the bot if they curse as well during um, chat promotions or whatever that may be. Um, access list. Next we're going to go to Monterey Manager and again all you do is just click here and then that will take it. And again we're going to edit bot. It tells you up here which bot you are editing. So you just put your Zat ID in here which you can find by going here and you see mine is 100-3300. And then recommended is level 5 which is bot owner for our commands. Add mod. Okay, so you see that now I am on there. So then we're going to go to um, back to cPanel. Okay, back in general cPanel. Um, room name, we're, this one we're going to be using world. Um, you can find your room name right here. So, change room. It's going to tell you it has login problems until we're done, so ignore that. Um, now for the login, the bot's Zat account. Um, I have a short name, so might some of you might have like my chat bot username, blah blah blah. Um, so I'm going to use my Able account. So you just put it in and then click Change Account. So uh, now I'll say the bot will log in using account able. Again, it's not going to come to the chat yet. So 
Next we come down here. You need to make sure your ID is in here as well. Alright, so we put in um, oops, put in all the information. Um, it is recommended you allow login pins right here. So click enable sending pins. Alright, so now that we've done everything, we've enabled login pins. It says so right here, you know, you've allowed them. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now we're going to go to the chat and assign the bot power. This is required, this power from Zat. Um, before I do assign it, you can see here there is none assigned. So we're going to assign. Bot assigned OK. Come back here, refresh. Oops, I'm in the wrong chat. Okay, so, alright, now you want to make sure the bot power is checked. Um, that is my old ID, so I'm going to take that off. Um, basically, how to get the ID of the bot power. Uh, you type in that space. Yeah, I'll show you this one. Let's bring my video up a little bit. Thatspace.com slash what your username is and then this is an easy way to get a user ID um, an appropriate ID is right here as you can see ID very simple yet effective way to get an ID so we're coming back to the chat and this is where we're going to input the ID that we just copied. Press OK. Update these settings. Okay. Alright, so now the bot power has been configured correctly. Um, now let's see if it works. First thing you do, before you start your bot, make sure you click Add Time. Once time has been successfully added, it says so, and click the Start button. Now it says the bot has been started, and let's go see if it has. And there's your bot. Now, first thing you want to check, mod level. Oops. <clears throat> your bot isn't going to be able to talk if it's not a member or a moderator or whatever, so... Alright, now you guys won't have level 666 or 69, but um, as you can see, I added myself as level 5, and that's it. Um, that is the basic setup. Anything else, just look for our videos. Have fun.